Introverted Spy Mouth. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok. Please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Hello, Raydrops. I am in Fluffy Hills, and they've had a new massive update. It is so much fun and so cute. So I wanted to show you around the map, but first and foremost, everyone keeps asking, how do I get a halo? So I'm going to show you where to get that. So it is right here in the main plaza. So make sure you teleport to the main plaza. And then we're going to run over here to the beach area. Right over here. And you see this well. So you come here to the well and you wish for the crown. The Bloom Heart Shard crown. You can wish every 60 seconds, which is nice. It's not a once a day thing. So make sure you keep going back there to try to win the crown. So far, I haven't had much luck. Okay, so look at all of the new worlds that they have here. It has expanded so much. So let's go ahead and go to the Oceanside Retreats. This is the main area that you spawn in when you join the game. So let's spawn in here. And it's this cute little area. They have the giant beach balls. They have the floaties that you can float on. Let's jump on one here. Oh no, it made me go upside down. Um, okay, I think it might be a uh, mess up just a bit, but that's okay. So you can play with the floaties. You can spawn your own. It is super cute. Let's take a look up here. You can see there are these beautiful waterfalls here for the swimming areas that you can go into. That oh look, someone's giving out their badge. So cool. I will be. Ha I will have a badge in this game. They just haven't implemented it yet. So stay tuned for that, and I will do some badge giveaways. They do have like this cute area over here that you can come to for shops. This is where you can earn some shells with the shell seashells trivia mini game. That's the best way to earn money, and I will show you that shortly. Ooh, that's coming soon. Very cute. So it's this cute little area here that you can just do a lot of role play with. Now let's see. Let's travel over here to the northern border city. And let's take a look at it. Let's spawn in here. Oh, look at these cute little shops here. So there are shops and you can actually go inside the shop. So this is another great spot to do some role play. And I'm sure they're probably going to have more stuff coming to the shops soon. So cute. And then, of course, you've got your beach area that you can come role play on. Let's run. They have more beach balls. They have a sandcastle there. This cute little arch. And I'm pretty sure it's just water back there. So their game, the way they make it to not be so laggy is that it doesn't load until you get closer to it. So that helps a lot with the lag. Oh, look, this is cool. You can pretend you're watching a big movie on the beach there. Okay, let's go back here. Here are some houses back here. So there's lots of little areas that you can actually do role play. Let's see what else. What's over here? Okay, let's head to this area. Oh, yeah, so this is a path over here. And it's got, like, picnic areas. Oh, and a hot spring. So they've added so much stuff to this game, which is absolutely amazing because I did do a video on the quest in the main plaza. Make sure you check that out. That'll help you get some items as well. Okay, let's teleport over here to Fluffy Hills Metro. Let's zone in here. This is another new area that I've never been to before. Um, so let's get some cute posters on the wall. And, oh, here's the Metro. Very cool. Fluffy Hills Metro. Some giant flowers. Um, it looks like some other stuff coming soon. Ooh, apartments coming soon. So, lots of pretty pictures of the game, which is really cool. In-game pictures. So, again, just another area to explore. And also keep your eye out for any of the gems that are spawning that you can get as well. But like I said, the best way to farm right now is the mini game. Okay, cool. I'm oh, missing the little ducks. Okay, so that is here. So now let's head back over to the fluffy forest. Let's go here. So here you can actually ride jet skis. They will have a thing where you can mine for the rubies soon, which is pretty cool. 
Press to join. There we go. Okay, so right here you can see there are lots of rubies on the ground that you can collect. So this place, I, I seem to find more of the rubies along the ground here that you can um, kind of farm. So that is a helpful spot if you are interested in doing that. But again, the seashells are kind of the way to go for now. So right here is where you can mine for rubies soon. They're going to create that. You can kind of go down into that area and see you could push E to mine. Over here, you see where it says waiting. So this is the jet ski race area. So you can come over here and spawn a jet ski and participate in the race, which is pretty cool. Something else to do. A cute campfire here. Let's go explore over this way. This game just has beautiful landscaping. Okay, so let's teleport over to the Paradise Coastal Oasis here. And this is absolutely amazing. You can see there's all these little shops here. All this beautiful flower work. Oh my goodness, so many flowers everywhere. I absolutely love it. Oh, that's cool. So they have little stores, a tea bar here. And you can actually go inside each of the stores here. Very cool. Super cute. Oh, you can pick a flower here. Okay, let's see. Let's try that. Click to pick it, pick it up. Oh, yep, you can pick up the flower. The it's not quite working as intended, I don't think, but still a cute idea. Oh, look at this cute upstairs area with the little bed and the stuffed animals. That's cute. All right, so let's see. Let's head down here. Look at all these beautiful shops. Oh, here's another way you can earn rubies. You can go into shops and you can scan and like sell pretty much the items like that was a donut. You see they do respawn pretty quickly. Now we can do some cookies and this is another way you can earn rubies. It They respawn super fast. So again, this is a quick way just to earn some rubies and it does happen in pretty much every shop. Um, some of them won't have it, but in most of the shops you'll find that if you see a person standing there, it's likely that you can scan some of the like food items for rubies. And you can see some more cute shops, and along the way they have more items and some of them that you can scan for rubies. So make sure you check that out if you're trying to earn more rubies. Okay, so now if we go back to the main plaza, I want to show you the seashell mini game. Oh, this is a cute little ice cream area. So if you come to these, you can do the seashell trivia game and you answer the questions correctly. And you'll see over on the right hand side, you'll get either zero or whatever amount. So let's see. Obviously, this one would be throw it away. And you can see I got 476 shells. So that's actually a lot that you can get for each one. So this one is evening primrose. 441. So this is a very quick way to farm and buy stuff in the shop, especially for the summer catalog. You'll see that you can use shells for that, as we saw earlier. So here's just some quick answers. You can see which ones I get wrong, which ones I get right. So it does help to actually memorize the correct answers. And you can kind of Google some of them if you really wanted, but it also, it happens so quickly that it's really not that hard. So. Okay, let's look at the shop. You can see here are the update logs and it shows the things that they've updated recently. So you can scroll through those and read those. And then at the top, you can see there's a homepage, codes, catalogs, and buy rubies. So let's go to the catalogs page. This is the stuff that is on sale all year round. So you can see there's tons of items here that you can go through. Lots of things that you can buy right now. All right, and now let's go to the seasonal catalogs and you can see the summer catalog is currently available. This is where you will spend your seashells that you get from the mini games. So there are lots of items that you can buy here. Super cute stuff, just kind of scroll through. I did want to point out that they do have a mermaid tail in the catalog. So it's just in the main catalog, mermaid tail. I know that's been something people have been asking for a lot in games recently. 
and they do have some new codes that you will want to use to help you buy some new stuff. So obviously you can use the code starter pack, which you see right here. It tells you that there's a free code. So make sure you redeem that. I have already redeemed that one. Okay, the next code that you can use is summer 2024. All right, the next code is new updates with an S. Okay. The next code is Fluffy Hills 2024. Okay, the next one is Summer is Here. Redeem that one. Okay, so I do want to show you they have this like mermaid top and the mermaid tail. I want to show you what that looks like before I finish for today. So let's see, let's go into our closet and take this off. For some reason, the shell's top is glitching for me and not showing my body, but you can see it's super cute and the tail is amazing. Of course, you can recolor everything. That's going to be it for this update. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and try out this game. We'll see you next time. Bye, Ray Drop. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.